Welcome to the exciting new podcast. This is a mini. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan. And I'm Katie. Does that, that mu- camera make me look fat? Just let that look music up. soak in, you know? <laughs> does that, did that camera catch you doing your one, two, three? So the world can see what we laugh at every time? <laughs> yeah, but if I publish it, it's, I'm going to let the music play out. Start, start it out. The music. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You got to put the whole thing out there. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> it's raw form. <laughs> <laughs> And that wasn't bad. <laughs> just fucking with you. <laughs> He's just messing with you. Uh, you want to kick us off with something that you uh, watched this week, Brian? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I got it. Hold I on. You just pulled it up. Yeah, but, uh, just looked at it. And he's like, I looked at it, read it, memorized it, <laughs> put my phone down, I forgot it. <laughs> I got it. I know it already. A South Korean girl realizes she's a witch <laughs> and she gets sent away to a coven. Where they beat her Close. Yeah, naked. <laughs> Close. I would watch that. I'm sure I you would. I also would watch that, though. Yes. I love witches. My, now, I think Andy would watch that when he was like, I'm starting to like this one. <laughs> this is a Japanese show, but it's a oh, Japanese so anime. Okay. It's called By the Grace of the Gods. And uh, the synopsis is, Ryomi... Ryoma didn't have good luck in his former life, but three deities decide to give him a second chance in a fantasy world of magic. And he plays a little 11 year old boy who used to be this middle aged Japanese man who died at his desk and was reincarnated as, at that time, an eight year old boy. So it's three years. And he learned all this magic and he has all these slimes that he controls. Is this the sequel to, like, I was reincarnated as a slime? No, no, this is all separate. What about that show you watched that had like the moon goddess and she was his friend, but she was also annoying? Oh, uh, Konosuba. That's a great show. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> what I got from Brian is it's a middle-aged man who now gets to pretend he's a young boy he's and touch himself. as an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> so, With three goddesses. I heard deities no, or something no, like this, that. No, right? this one yeah. is it's not goddesses. Oh, you said deities, deities or something. Three they're deities. the same things. It's yeah. two guys and a girl deity. Oh, okay. come on. So two gods and a god. And he doesn't then. see them. They just reincarnated him on this new planet oh. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it he seems gets, to be like. He's all super, you know, he's got powerful magic. So <laughs> kind of a feel good. Oh, like Wait. Black Clover. So yeah. um, <laughs> yes. how many uh, seasons is it? Uh, 732. Second season just started. <laughs> but I mean, I've only watched six, seven episodes. So. All right. I won't mock anime because I don't understand it. I mean, I watch a f- couple of them. A but. good one to start with is Black Clover. It's <laughs> well, my only one I one. like. I also have the that manga if you want to read it. Mm. And I'm collecting the Funko Pop. I'm obsessed. I'm out. I still have to finish um, the one I watched like the first four or five episodes of and I stopped watching it. Attack on Titan? No. They made a movie out of it too. Um, so many. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Death Note? No. Nah, nah, Cowboy know. Bebop? Cowboy Bebop, yes. And I was liking that one. I, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to not watch that. I'll go back to it, but That's a good one. I started good, it man. and then like everything good. else, I get away from it. It's like so many to get and she got on like it's like it's, <laughs> I was thinking it's gonna be impossible to well, get. It was a Netflix <laughs> movie. Yeah. I tried watching the movie and I couldn't get it. I into heard the it. movie was terrible, but the show's really good. I like John Cho. He plays I like like John the, Cho. He plays the main guy, I think, in the movie. In the live Sulu? action. Yeah, the live action. Yeah, I never seen either. Sulu. Um, the only thing I have is, well, besides the Giants winning against the Vikings, that seems to have ruined my voice for the next four <laughs> days. Um, the Last of Us on HBO. Oh, I did see that. I watched that. Yeah. What did you guys think? I thought it was slow. Slow. Hmm. But I liked it. I, I liked it. Did you play the game? Do you know the game no, at all? No, I ta- discussed it with my roommate actually today, and she was saying... The part she got up to in the game is basically the first episode and that she stopped playing the game because it got scary. So I'm assuming zombies are going to start coming out or well, like, I was, I was just like going to say it is a zombie show, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they look like they were. I don't know. I didn't like the creatures like the. I didn't. I, I didn't watch it, so I can't speak. on. I've it. never played the game, so I don't know. I didn't but play the game either. No, I played a little bit of the game. I hear. I heard on PC or did you play? No, it's, no. All, it's PlayStation I, exclusive. I think. Oh, is it PlayStation? Uh, well, Brady, the second one just came out. Yeah, Brady had it, and I played it for a little bit. Well, there's a there's like three or four, I think, Last of Us games, I think. And then they, and the, oh, no, ga- the video game was two, also called that, that. It took so long for the sequel to come maybe, out. Maybe, maybe. I, I really don't know, but the first episode was really good. Is the video game the same name? Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like <laughs> Last of Us, same character. Know, Last of Us, American Dream, or something like that. And then it's like the guy Rick from Walking Dead, I think, is the main character or whatever. Ooh. Get him whatever out his of, actor get him Andrew out Lincoln? Is Norman Reedus. Oh. oh, him. I thought you said yeah. Rick is Andrew Lincoln. Oh, I don't. I've never seen The Walking Dead. Good. Sorry. Don't. Don't start. <laughs> Dar- Daryl is um, Norman Reedus. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if it's one of those guys, that's it would be Andrew Lincoln or Norman I Reedus. I saw the first two seasons of Walking Dead, and then I. It, it never got happier. There were never well, any happy it's a zombie show. It's never going to get happy. Your favorite show is Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, yeah but there were happy moments. In and there then were. immediate tragedy. <laughs> yeah, but. But do you want happy moments throughout a show? I mean, a show about no, like, a even dystopian a society with zombies and like. Like nothing. It's nothing wor- the world ever ended, good happened. But the world ended. What do you want to do? Oh, t- world's here today. Going tomorrow, but it's here today. You they should at least baby, have a little fun. Would you have a baby in a zombie apocalypse, or would yes. you give birth and then kill it? Because it could give you away. I well, you know what? Prostate I'll tell you right baby. now, in The Last of Us, when okay. it yada yada's over 20 years, and all of a sudden you see the kid walking through the field, I'm like, like kill that kid. who the fuck would have a kid in the zombie apocalypse? The kid's like 12. I'm like, that kid was born after this shit started. From what I read online, I'm hearing that it's really great, um, but they're saying that they cast the girl. The girl that they cast oh, was really? horrible for the part they said. Lady oh. Mormont? She, yeah. I mean, she I was good. I thought she was good. Yeah, she was, that's, she that's, was that, I'm, Like I said, I didn't watch it, but I, I've seen her a couple little... articles, and that's the articles have said that they didn't like her. See, the article yeah. I read said that the, it was like HBO st- does their first shocker with it. So like I was t- avoiding telling my roommate what happened, and then she told me what happens in the game, and I was like, oh, it's yeah, apparently exactly like, what happens apparently in the like, So I don't know how it's shocking. <laughs> Whatever is special about her is not a shock. Like it's on the back of the box. Like when you buy the game, it's like Ellie well, yeah, well, is. We don't know what it is. Uh, yeah. so. It, it, so set, it tells you yet. what what is special about her. So oh. it shouldn't be a shock. That's Sweet. why I think they got it out of the way in the first episode. Just be like, she's this. So you know, oh, that so was they said to be it in amazing. the episode. So they said it in the episode. That she's immune. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't. She's didn't immune even to catch what? That. Like is it the a disease? Is it a, like she has the disease. So they know what the disease is. It's, yeah, it's yeah, this it's a it's a yeah. fungus that's in the air, but like it's like COVID, but worse. And they definitely try to tie it to COVID with the whole thing <laughs> at the beginning. the beginning. Oh my god, that was stupid. Yeah, that was a little much, <laughs> but it's good. Pedro Pascal's awesome. Yeah, it's nice to see his he's face hot. too. Oh, you know, he's not, not as hot as Oscar Isaac. Isaac. <laughs> Who? I said he's hot, but not as hot as Oscar Isaac. Oh really? You think Oscar Isaac's hot? <laughs> yes. Then? Yeah, Oscar Isaac's Are definitely better looking me? than Pedro Pascal. He was so good out. in Dune. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. He's much oh, better I like looking. Pedro. I like Pedro so too, but good in, um, I vote for Pedro too. And then what's his face? Um, <laughs> right Napoleon. Then there's, then there's the other guy, uh, Diego Luna. 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 Yeah. Luna. He, oh, he's good looking. He's like too. in the same group as those guys. That's like, the guy from uh, Star another Star Wars, Wars Andor, guy. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I, I yeah, because Pedro Pascal's gone back to that. Yeah, that's but he's in Rogue right? One. Speaking of Star Wars, yeah. the Mandalorian, yeah. Mandalorian trailer for season three came out. Did any, yes. anybody watch the trailer? I did. No. no, I watched the fake one that Anthony sent twice and bragged about, and then I watched the right one. Oh, the one that people. I sent that I was trying to be nice and share with everybody. Well, I watched well, it. I know exactly. live during Monday Night no, Football. I know, but I, that's why I was pissed off with a- Anthony. And I'll say it to you now, Anthony: send the real thing. Yeah, as soon as I turned it on. <laughs> And it was that lady's voice, the the, the yeah, Mandalorian I mean, he, lady. I was like, fake- "This is just this is just a fan clip." Everything all over the internet was saying that they're going to show the a trailer was going to be shown during the uh, the Bucks Cowboys the Bucks game. Cowboys game on Monday night. Okay, he's sending us Sunday afternoon. He's sending us a trailer, and it was obviously <laughs> fake. It was like clips of all the per- previous seasons. Whatever. The editing was bad. Old, it was. What's that? He might not have known it was fake. If he's he lives old. in Colorado, yeah, he should know better. But he did. They're like two hours behind. Oh. I've never a seen. couple of years behind. And I didn't watch the second season of The Mandalorian. It was, was it good. Worth second watching? season. Oh, oh, well, second season. Uh, really second season good. is mo- very okay. much worth it. And I, I was kind of wondering about the fact that there's a couple episodes of Book of Boba Fett that are Mandalorian episodes. So when The Mandalorian season two ends, he loses Grogu. He does. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. You didn't see season two, and then Spoiler season three, alert. and then season three is going to start with him he having the, Grogu. The menu last week. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a great movie. He ruined it for who? If you listen, anybody that listens to our podcast, oh. so nobody. He spoils it. <laughs> Do you, you need to get the A list? That was before you watched it, right? Yeah, I don't go to Are you going to watch it? I think I might. I think you need to. Oh, the menu. You definitely should see. It's on HBO Max. Oh, true. I saw it in theaters. Yeah, I'm better the theaters. than you. 
But I, the whale that was you, that's a great movie. You just said it left the theaters. So where's it going to be streaming? Do you know? I don't know, but I think it's going to be back because he's nominated for the Oscar, and usually they do they the nominated the movies theaters, yeah. so people can watch them. But where did you see it? I in saw the it in theater oh. like two weeks ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see the movie. I see movies with my friends every week, Dad. Oh, for two years. But you said it before, and he was sitting right next to you when I, you said that. Yeah. I did this when That's, I lived with him. It's a couple of times, though. He said something earlier. He he asked the same question that we just talked about. This is uh, this is life in a nutshell. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was probably talking to myself. Probably. His inner monologue was <laughs> slamming him with questions. If you've lost a parent, I think it's very emotional. Yeah. And if or you love like somebody you, if you wish addiction. you had lost a parent. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've come too close to losing both my parents to actually wish. But it. one, you'd be like, well, you know, life's probably better. I already got into parent. college. I don't need another essay. <laughs> <laughs> At least I did give each of us a Is good. Is that what you used for your essay? Oh, hell your mom? Yeah. yeah. It was my senior year of high school. My mother was dying. <sighs> but she got better. Yeah, we didn't know it. Yeah, but cool. that's a great story to write. You, there's oh, yeah. so but much. She wasn't better by the time my essays were due. Okay, that's good. Because she like. So you weren't lying. No, like I could be dead by the she time had her I go surgery in December, and that's when all my. And then at the end, she due. was like, that at the end, it was like dot 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 because you didn't know the end of the story. <laughs> so, well, that was. You like, better admit me, you, or you won't you know how the story comes out. College, I thought. No, that was the second time. Oh. When it came back, I was already in college. And then she couldn't use it to her advantage. Oh, that's right. No, 2011. No, well, I did use it to my advantage. But I thought Wasn't I Wasn't that what Van Wilder was about? You know what? I never saw Van Wilder. I thought that was what that was. Or no, one of those, or was that, no, it was one of those college movies where the oh, kid died. The roommate dies. Roommate dies. Yes. It wasn't, it wasn't um, Van Wilder. It was somebody else. I think it might have been the kid from, uh, it might have been Zach Morris, right? It's um, Was it Zach Morris? Damn it. Yeah. I know the movie too. Good movie. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's been a rumor about college since I was in college, yes. which was oh, like your roommate dies, you get yeah, you A's. Get a, you automatically get A's. A's. Oh yeah, we used to say that all the time. We, we had a lot of jumpers, though. Unfortunately, at Rowan, we just had a bunch of stoners, and we all sit around in a room going like, "Dude, I'm not studying for my test, so you're gonna have to fucking die." I guess. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you were hoping one of the stoners fell. Yes. <laughs> no, there actually was an issue. There was a, a big article that came out a couple of years ago about the mental health facility at Rowan because there was multiple suicides every year during finals, like two times a year. Wow. And then the, I could attest to it myself, they're not good. <laughs> Maybe they're better now. It was oh, not good. the suicides are good now. No no, no. no, no, but there was, I, I remember talking to somebody about that. I was like, well, yeah, you always got the article being like, hey, don't walk by um, Robo Garage. And you're like, oh, I guess somebody jumped again. And I was talking to one of my other that's friends. That's not tall enough, is it? It is. It's tall enough. I it guess. happened quite a few times. And then when you're oh. on top of the garages, it would say to like, like they would have the suicide hotline. It's not funny, but it had the suicide oh, hotline like the, yeah, and being like, don't jump. That's why Atlantic City has the nets yeah. around so no one can jump there. But, and, that's why and lots of people have jumped off of those. That's why they have the nets. So yeah. you really have to, you especially really if it's an area where yourself, you, you're losing all that money coming out. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's sad. I mean, and that's the same at a university. Yeah. <laughs> losing all, losing that, all money. that money and then failing a class, yeah. Or thinking you're going to fail because it's even before you take them. True. But apparently <clears> other <throat> colleges didn't have that. <laughs> oh, really? We would get those emails and we got the emails too being like, hey, another sexual assault Saturday night. <laughs> Man, when I was a writer, they just said show up and you'll probably get a B at least. I'm like, okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> Grading on a curve. The only other movie I watched over the last week was uh, I finished um, Amsterdam. <gasps> That's a good movie. I liked it a lot. I've heard nothing I, but terrible things about I it. Connor really hated it. it. I thought it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the I cast. I enjoyed mad. the story. Mad. Yeah. Mad. Yeah, really? Oh, I thought oh, it was have good. Have you seen Babylon yet? That was good. No, no, no yeah. it's not free yet. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I liked Amsterdam. I, I recommend it. I thought the cast was great. And That's a three-hour movie, fun. Babylon. Yes, it is. But you don't feel it. I will say I didn't feel it. I heard bad things about that one though too. Yeah, it's not doing well. I know, which is weird because it's bad. Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie, like it's great cast. And Brad's been on a a, quite a a a streak. Well, Bullet Train was fantastic. I like that a lot. Yes, great movie. I saw that in theaters twice. I saw that on Netflix. That might be the last movie I saw the theater on something. Yeah, maybe I should watch it. No, you should. Even Grandma liked it. Watch, sit down, watch, uh, watch Bullet Train, and then watch the menu. Yeah, oh, those are fan- back to back. That's, that's a long good. day. Not really. No. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah, why? Editing. You're not out raking or anything <laughs> like that. You send your wife out to do that. 
I set up a uh, bird feeder. So if I was you, I'd, I'd probably watch like six, seven movies a weekend if I was him. <laughs> He's got the time. Yeah. He's too busy watching that 100. And watching those Korean, and Veronica Mars. Those Korean teen dramas. <laughs> what happened with that one where it was a, a goddess that didn't know she was a goddess and the devil had her or something? Oh, uh, yeah, that was a Chinese, Warrior Nun. Chinese one. No, don't bring up Warrior Nun to him. That's a touchy <laughs> subject now. I know. I think he wrote Netflix. I think he did. I'm, I'm going to cancel Netflix. Canceling Netflix. <laughs> I just got to wait for Connor to get through a show and then. I need to finish 1899. It got canceled. Isn't that yeah, on Paramount? No, that's not. Yeah, oh, Netflix. wait. I'm thinking of something else. Sorry. Wait, I know late 1836 or yeah, whatever. The one of the Yellowstone yeah. ones. Get the AMC. I want to watch that Mayfair Witches show. Looks good. God damn, you people watch a lot of terrible TV. In I didn't house. even know what that's called, what that is, what that was. It's based is, off sorry. the Anne Rice novels, so she's the one that wrote like um, Interview with the Vampire. Yeah. I haven't seen or even heard of it. Yeah, I haven't seen that. But the new Interview with the Vampire TV show, I thought got good reviews. Like I wanted to watch. Oh, was that, that the too. one with? Um, I remember seeing the commercial. I couldn't tell you it was dude that from it. Succession. Kendall, Logan. <sighs> no, he's not a main character oh. from there. Uh, Greg the, Tom. Uh, the guy who was a uh, president, he was a uh, he was he was already pre- he was president already. Ooh, man, she have used to work with him. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I know who you're talking about from Ern- 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 uh, <sighs> Ernest goes to camp. I was gonna say Ernest, Ernest goes Borgstein, to jail. <laughs> but it's not Ernest Borgstein. It's it's not er- Ernest Borg nine either. <laughs> it's it's. While you're thinking of this, oh, do you know it? No, I don't oh, remember. You while you're do? thinking of this, look it up. I can't it's remember it. Phones right there. I was gonna tell. I was gonna talk while you looked it up, but, but do you have anything else? Wait to break the fourth wall. I was just gonna talk about how I went to see uh, Mr. Las Vegas on Saturday. Oh, that's right. Ooh. I saw Mr. Wayne Newton, and for an 80 year old man, he put on an absolutely amazing two hour show. Wow! He's, Did he invite any ladies up? He um yeah he actually invited a couple. That was Griswold. He, 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 <laughs> he walked off stage. He comes out and gives a girl a hug. Wow. He had a girl and a guy come up and he sings love to them and then he, the guy proposed to the girl. Wow. Um he was reading some stories, t- telling stories about uh Presley, the Rat Pack, Glenn Campbell. Um, you were hoping that he was going to tell stories. Yeah. Um he was talking about Jackie Gleason. Um. Which we call it, uh, yeah. And then he played the violin. He played the keyboard. He played the guitar. He played the banjo. Man. He got down. On, he was down on one knee talking to somebody in the crowd. He stood back up from getting down on one knee. <laughs> he didn't have something for, to lean on to because yeah, I couldn't. He didn't do lean that. on anything. He had his twenty. His bride of twenty eight years was out on stage with him. She was reading questions to him. She was twenty eight. Like, said no, uh, she wasn't twenty eight. <laughs> she was like an ex lawyer. That you, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm twenty eight. I'm trying to t- Oh yeah. I'm trying to tell a nice story here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, so I'm sorry, but who is Mr. Las Vegas? Wayne Newton. Great Who's Wayne Newton? Question. Oh. Great question. I'm sorry. Did you see Vegas Vacation? No. Okay. All right, then there's really no way of telling yeah. that he's, gonna, he's, a, he's performer. a performer. He's a performer singer. Okay. But did he per- so he performed with Elvis Presley? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's very famous in the He the was a uh, he was a uh, famous I guess he was 15 or 16, I think, when he got the hit uh, Don Shane. And he was given that song from Bobby Darren. Oh, wow. Brought him in the studio. This was a song that was given to Bobby Darren. Bobby Darren was supposed to uh, record and perform Don Shane, but he wanted to make sure that Wayne Newton had a hit record. So he gave that song to Wayne. Damn. I thought that was a pretty cool story. Well, I've seen him before. That's really cool. Yeah. Was he on Mass Singer? Sure. Maybe. <laughs> it's possible. He's had a lot of like work done, like plastic surgery. You could see it in his face and everything. He's one like that doesn't look much. He had dentures, obviously, so you hear that singing through the dentures and everything. So that's that's what's different. But but he played the violin for like a good two and a half minutes straight, and he went crazy fast. I played that for you. I saw the clip. And he played it super fast, and he was super in. It was awesome. He he's very very. talented and put on a great I, I had to imagine like the shows in the 60s and 70s had to have been phenomenal like he must have put on <laughs> coke fueled shows <laughs> <Stay on> coke. <laughs> amazing show you know? who was in the audience what was the age range oh the clip that you sent the he doesn't know who that was oh the guy that yeah. was paul schaefer oh that was paul schaefer yeah okay who's, who's paul schaefer uh, jesus see, dude. christ <laughs> he wait the, is he the bald guy that used to be on letterman there you go 
More importantly, it was in Spinal Tap. I hate that movie. <laughs> I know Turn It Up to 11, but it's that and um, Strange Brew. I can't stand them. <laughs> we get to do Strange Brew this year. I can't I know. freaking wait. That's why it's one of my, my favoritest movies. I love that movie. Your favoritist? Yeah, yes. his favoritist. <laughs> I don't want to do this next movie with her. What, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Your comedy chops have just gotten chopped right now. Same hey, movie you like now. Uh, uh, Blazing Saddles. I'm yeah. a little bitter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. We thought that was a little too racist. It's hard to make yeah. fun of that movie when every other joke is. I could have brought a black person. I have black friends. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't make it any easier for me. You, you I, think, I think that makes brought it. Brought one. It makes it, I think it, 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 makes, it, makes it more uh, Erica awkward. would have found that funny that I said that. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. yeah you could say it. I'm like, I'm not going to say it. What? <laughs> I, say, I would have been like, say what? <laughs> um, I really don't have anything. I'm rewatching Yellow Jackets to get started for season two. I want to watch that. Season, you didn't watch season one? No, me and my mom were just right. talking about that. Well, you should do it. Um, I'll watch a 20 minute I watched season, season one, one already. Season two. I'm doing a rewatch. I watched the first episode last night, and it that's that first episode hits it, it hits really well. Mm. Uh, it's so good. It's on Showtime if you want to watch well, that's, it. We're trying to convince dad to buy it for us. Get so rid of Netflix. Showtime. Yeah, yeah. Did you have anything else you want to do on the uh, mini? Nah, mini. So I'm, just, I'm just rewatching The West Wing. Does that give me any chops? No, <laughs> I <laughs> never watched it in the begin with, nor did I. I enjoy it quite a bit. How far in are you? I got to the second. I love the ending of the first season, so I started there. Isn't that have you seen like the whole one of those thing twelve through? season kind of shows? It, it, it's after Aaron Sorkin left, it kind of gets bad. I don't even know have you watched it all the way through? Means. Yeah. Oh, you have already. Yeah. I like it. It's very like snappy writing. Andy's more of an Ally McBeal guy. I also like Veep. Never watched it. Jersey Girl. I've never seen Veep. Was good. You just got into Veep, didn't you? Well, Jersey Brady just girl, did. Huh? She's from uh, where'd she go to high school? No just idea. down two oh six. Um, Allie McBeal. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chris the Flock uh, yeah, Flockhart. She's from Jersey. Yeah. Oh, she's married yeah. to Harrison Ford. I yes. know that person. Yeah, one of the Shawnee schools. She's the one yes, that tells him to that's wear right. You know what? I remember going to that school when Logan or uh, Daniel had a band thing there, uh-huh. and there it's like they have the famous the people home of things. The Flockhart. It, it said that. I was like, man, this is probably exactly where Harrison Ford picked her up. <laughs> he was like forty-five, fifty. She was eighteen. He was. She was walking out. She's like, hey. You like, like my earrings? You like old men with earrings? <laughs> I've seen Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what? I think my dad liked that. And he's like, get in the car. Get in the, get in the plane. <laughs> she turned sideways and the wind blew her into his car. <laughs> Earring stays in. <laughs> well, anyway, this has been our uh, mini for this week. Uh, you can catch us everywhere. Spreaker. Everywhere you get your, down, uh, your podcast. Download us. Uh, rate us. Review us. Rate us and review us. Share us with your friends. Tell somebody else to listen to us. Um, you can catch me on Instagram at the Jazoo. On Twitter, I'm Jazoo74. Uh, they call me Jason. I'm Andy, A Gonzo1 on Twitter, A Gonzo1970 on Instagram. And I'm Brian, Papa Bad Kitty. And I'm Katie, Katie Alpin on Instagram. <laughs>